fish. Fish. Well, we've, we've got a cutout for the barn. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. You can actually get money for it. Even a coin will get us one step closer to getting the new shop upgrade. But why would you want a tuna fish? It wouldn't sound good anyway. Well, it depends. I mean, the bass probably sounds pretty good. Yeah, but the octopuses just don't get into it. They're the drummers. Or the keyboardists. I mean, come on. Yeah, they wouldn't have an inkling of what they were doing. Are you squidding me? No. I just see the full picture. Don't let them sucker you. They make great drummers. <laughs> But can they do castanets? Because most shellfish can. Don't even need to buy them. Well, if they're not being shellfish about it, yeah. Oh, they just have a bad habit of climbing up. How did we get here again? You got salty. <laughs> At least I know there are certain people that are not watching the stream right now, or else I'd be going, God damn it, guys, stop that! <laughs> Makes them a little crabby. It's a tiny bit, yeah. <laughs> they just want to come muzzle in on our territory, too. Oh, dear. I'll be right back. I'm gonna check on my food in the electronic yummying hot, as Sam would say. And if People did not ever expect we would go into a pun war. They have not been watching me very long. Ah, good. You've been able to keep up with that. waiting for it and I'm getting hungry so it's very I 
haven't eaten anything today either. So I figure that's I'm going to take care of that as soon as the stream is over. Good plan. And it won't be ordering pizza. No. <laughs> I mean, there is literally a, you know, a few gallon Ziploc bags that are not, ex that are more than half full. Use my tortillas and make wraps. Hmm, I wonder if... Hmm, that actually doesn't sound like a half bad idea. What? Mix... For a wrap, just take some of the turkey or the ham and mix stuffing with it. Oh yeah, that'd be tasty. That actually seems decent. Another top hat? Okay. A reference sheet, huh? Hmm. Does any one of us not have a top hat of their own? I think we mo I think most of us have top hats at this point. Cuz I have one, I think you or anonymous has one. I'm going to double check. Just Oh no, none of us have top hats. We have black hats. Oh, I guess there's a difference? Apparently. Oh, now we have a top hat. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, man, making paper is fairly, uh, fairly pricey. That's a lot of flowers.
So yeah, just on a side note, the bouquets do stack. That's good. I think they only stack up to four, though. So it's like putting down double the flowers we normally would put down. <clears throat> it's not a bad thing. Oh. Yeah, I put some fish in the market if they were doing the selling, because I figured why not. There. Putting the top hat away. So we now have a little extra cash from the fish. A blue snapper, okay. Not worth quite as much as the red. Still, it's a fish. I know. Where did all the wheat and poop go? Ooh! Right, damsel! No, I... The poop should be in the back of the house, because I saw it all the way back there. As for the wheat... It was in the front of the house, but I'm I think it the got... the poop. Okay. Yeah, it's in the poop. Again, I was trying to organize things. Well, that's fine. I was just going to actually make fertilizer because we probably should, since we have the resources for it. Make flowers and stuff? Yeah, to okay. fertilize flowers. To make... Since you actually get stuff back if you actually fertilize. I'm going to go put it in with the seed chest. You craft it. You craft the uh, traps. And apparently I got a bright damsel when I was fishing. Might be worth some decent money. I hope so. Boy, if we need bait, we got plenty of insects. <clears throat> this seaweed got away. Darn regulatory seaweed. I <laughs> don't. Why is that able to get away? But yeah, the traps you need, it's just your basic standing out on standing out on your own crafting menu. Rope, stone block, silver ore for either one of them. So the use for the silver ore. I want to test if seaweed sells for anything. Just in case. I 
There's a chest I haven't seen yet. Oh, it's completely empty. Okay. That said, I think we still have a couple of, uh, we do have a couple of fishing traps. We have quite a bit of material. There we go. I'm actually going to wear the top hat. You're a dapper ghost now? Yep. You're blokey? Yep. Does that mean you're depressed now? Yep. You naps the bloke. <laughs> Great. Surat's late Halloween co costume. Naps the bloke. It works. It's cute. I know that. I mean, I can't make the hat out of tears, but you know. Oh, well, magic. He's a monster. Magic. That's possible. But if you remember, he just kind of cried and the tears flew up and turned into a hat. He was all shy about it. She's looking at me like, what are we doing? I kind of around. I am running around the chick with an axe. This does not look good at all. And my cat has decided to join me and not Pete. Pete's busy plotting. Pete's dead asleep. So what do you want you to think? His plot is keep me from my coat so I don't leave the house. See? Plotting. 
his plan is to sleep on my coat. Yeah. There's a flaw in his plan. I'm not going out, so I have no need for the coat. But he's getting what he wants. Only because of circumstance, because I can push him off the coat. He's not that heavy. See, there's only so much he's able to do. He's working with what he has. Come on. He's working with what he has, and then there's... He's... Sitting on me would be more effective. Yeah, but you can just stand up. Either way, no. it's not difficult. It's not difficult, but the way he sits on me is he kind of sinks into me. Like he basically becomes a warm, heavy lump that's liquid on my body. Yeah. And he'll get his 20-pound brother to help him. So that's about 28 pounds I have to move. It's even better when he gets the kittens to help him. Of course. Um. Okay, I found something. One, two, three, four. I'm sinking into the ground. What did I find? Did you break the game again? No. I found something. I found I found a puzzle and a cavern and I'm guessing there was a chest here, but somebody got to it before me, but I'm sinking into the ground because <laughs> You activated a trap card? No, I don't think I'm trapped, that's the thing. Oh I am like for some reason my feet are for some reason, I'm sinking into the ground. Like, it looks like I'm walking through mud or something. I guess I was intentional. My brother will check! <laughs> no, I found, like, a cave with, like, a puzzle in it. It was very strange. And I think I found some more ruin. Wait, more ruins? Like, at least like a ruin bridge-like thing or something. Hmm. I am exploring this. See if it's the same ruins, like just attach to the same ruins we knew about. That was interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's just part of the same ruins we knew about. You know there's going to be a quest with this. Oh yeah, I would imagine that's where it opens up whenever they get the dungeon. Whenever they get the dungeon ready. Yeah, that's what it was, Anonymous. I'm, I'm guessing you got to it first. And my cat has just flopped on my shoulder. Pete is done sleeping. He's now on my shoulder, holding me hostage. 
He was just well, biding his time. Yeah. Problem. I can stand up with him on my shoulder, and he ends up, like, walking around with me, so he gets into positions. Yeah. But he's very comfortable right now. He's being a good boy. Fine. Getting pets. The thing is, he has to be in the same room as me. No matter where it is. Sounds about right. He's a good boy. Ow. I'm just enjoying the view while I have a cat sitting on my shoulder because I have to kind of prop him up with my uh, arms to make sure he doesn't slide down and I don't get claws. Oh. I love this cat. Oh, yeah, I got a busy winter coming up. Especially since my soon-to-be eight-year-old niece is having a little birthday party, has invited pretty much everyone. Your how Ever old niece? Eight. Oh. Eight. Soon to be eight. This is the one that you were worried about, right? One of them, yes. Okay. The There's one that wanted one that... the ghost to hurt everybody. Yes. Okay. She, her mother let her write out the invitations. Now, obviously there's usually a time for these parties like, you know, noon to X, whatever X is, and with little kid parties it's like maybe 5 o'clock or something like that. Mm -hmm. She put no end. This is why you do not let an 8 year old write out her own invitations. They will make sure the party will never end. Oh, you can't blame the eight-year-old. No. And the thing is, her mother didn't know. She forgot to proofread. So when my sister-in-law, we first got the invitation, said, Oh, to no end. I was just like, what? Like, mine says it too. So yes, that's just one of the two nieces I'm a little worried about. The other one, she strikes me as a Junko. That, that's not concerning at all. <laughs> no, um, she's very fashionista-like, and she has said, like, according to her mom, has said some things like, Oh dear lord, this is Junko. I have told this girl you are not taking over the world. Eh, too much work. For now. Well, to be fair, to... Junko didn't really want to take over the world. She just wanted chaos everywhere. Yeah. For it to just die. But that still took effort! Surprisingly, not a lot on her part. She yeah. let everyone else do all the work. I dropped my cell phone. You shouldn't do that. No, it fell off the charger. Actually, I have it in a phone protector, so. Because <laughs> I'm prone to doing stuff like that. Charger. I want charger. Three black wires. They all look identical until I pull them up. Thank you for letting me look for my phone by getting off my shoulder. What is your next plan? 
Right back on the shoulder. Did, did you expect anything else? I can't predict this cat. It's either back on the shoulder... Or he'd be pawing at my chest, or he'd jump off and do something else. Or he'd go back to his sleeping spot. But no, he's back on my shoulder. Just kind of doing his thing. You're a good cat, Pete. But you are very attached. Somehow I don't think that's, you know, news to the cat. Which half? The attached part? And the funny thing is, as soon as I go back into my bedroom, he's going to be right in there because it's the warmest room in the house right now. Yes, I know you're there. I you know you're there. I said in those little... Yep. Okay, and that group has got their secret Santa stuff ready. Right. Ooh, a secret Santa. Yep. Is it for work or for one of your groups? It's or... for, that one is for one of the uh, projects I'm in. Ah, uh, okay. That's going to be cute. Specifically, this one is the Midsummer Night Stream group. Ah, doing some Shakespeare. Yeah. I love the lighter too much. See, we need 20 hydrangeas and 10 purple cosmos, what I'm seeing on our things we need. Well, apparently there's a quest where we need uh, purple hydrangeas, 20 of them. Yeah. Oh, you don't see the purple? Okay. Yeah, I see one says collect 10 purple cosmos, too. I'm not seeing that one. I don't know, then. But it's on my list. Yeah. Well, we all benefit from whoever does the quests anyway, so it doesn't matter. I love the glider! I have 19,100. Nineteen thousand one hundred what? Money. It says I have forty thousand two hundred. You have forty thousand? Yeah, apparently. Dang. They must have made it so I have no idea if you can give it to me. I don't know. I thought we all shared the bank. Well I think but you see we've each been spending different amounts. That's true. But, you see, it gives us all money at the same time, but we don't, you know. And I have no idea. <laughs> a cow following you. <laughs> you have a pet cow.
cow now. purple cosmos in that chest so i'm not too worried about that anytime there's soon. 10 in the other one oh, is there yep okay we could turn that in Cow. It's a cow, can't you see that it lives country? It's a cow. I'm trying to ride we the can cow. Turn those, we can turn those small insects into bait and use them. I mean, that would be my recommendation, just use the things. And it's a one-to-one, -one, so we don't really lose anything as the thing. Yeah. This will probably be the last day we actually play. Yeah. Ah. Come back here with the cow, I want to ride it. Can I help you, cat? No, that's not what I want to ride. I don't want to ride the bench. I want to ride the cow. I want to ride the cow. Hey! I want to ride the cow! <laughs> Dang it! I can't ride it. I should link the I'm a cow song in Discord. Are we going to murder you horribly? You may be scared. I don't know if there would be murder involved, but it would probably scare you. Oh, the seaweed is used to make shellfish bait with the uh, bugs. No. Oh. Well, if we need shellfish. The only cow song I know is Meow Meow, I'm a Cow. Granted, it's more a sheep song with Beep Beep yeah, on the that sheep. Is, yes, that is the Tom Ska, yes. Meow Meow, I'm a Cow. So meow Meow, I'm a Cow. No! Thing is, there's a whole, like, dance remake of it. And part of it is basically a full on cow song. Oh yeah, there's one section in there that does the But no, the cartoon it's from they they yeah, do the they beep by just... sheep a couple of times and you get one cow out in the middle of a field going meow meow I'm a cow so meow meow I'm a cow and then one goes no Granted, I wasn't really I'm not really into Tom Ska. Uh the, the only songs I've really listened to are that one. Yeah, uh, do the flop, and I'm a muffin. You're saying he doesn't have too many different songs, really. Yeah. I mean, I think the only one you're really missing is the Mind Turtle. I think he had one called 
called I Like Trains, too. I saw that on his channel. I don't know if that's a song or not. Mm. I know it's a bit. But... Muffin Time song is kind of depressing, though. Well, yeah, it's about a muffin who's wanting to be eaten, but no one will eat it. Why, though? It's a muffin. Its purpose is to... Its purpose is to die and be eaten. And nobody will let it fulfill that purpose. No, that's what I mean. Why won't anyone eat it? Well, it keeps approaching the wrong people, I think. What kind of muffin is it? I don't think it ever says what type of muffin it is. Because if it's chocolate chip, I'll eat it. I don't as much as I'll feel bad about killing a sentient being. But it wants to die. I know, that's why I said I would eat it if it's a chocolate chip muffin. I don't know if it's chocolate chip or not. I don't think they say. Yeah, which is... They just, I mean, the most you ever see is the muffin pan being filled up and set in the oven. That's it. Yeah. They don't exactly show you what... Cat, can I seriously help you? Huh? Help me take over the world. You're, I mean, you've set yourself down right next to my mouse, and you are protruding your claws out so that if I swipe my hand near your feet, I get snagged. What's the matter? Hmm? You couldn't wait another 15, 20 minutes? Hmm? But no, there's a, there is a cow song I heard many, many years ago. There are a lot of weird I'll internet... In, I'll have to put it in Discord later. There are a lot of weird yes. internet songs everyone's heard. Let's be... Like, the internet is like a home for three things. Adult entertainment... Bad opinions and weird stuff. Where does this fall? What? This? Yeah. Technically weird stuff? Just because it's weird doesn't mean it's not cute. But no, I heard the cow song because forever ago, I played City of Heroes. R.I.P. that game, I so wanted to play it. Yeah. But I played City of Heroes and there were a few, there was a group out there that did dedicated radio. Just online radio for it. To the, Makes point, sense. They, to the point they would actually have, you know, um... Basically, it was live DJs and all this, and the DJs would actually go into the game, and they would throw parties and such like that. So this was a thing that happened, yes. And uh, they had a couple of DJs that actually had some real that had some really uh, interesting tastes in music, to put it bluntly. And one in particular I remember was a guy that went by the went by the handle of DJ Inhibitor. And every now and then his wife would join him and she was Miss Chaosity. That they were an interesting duo to listen to for sure. 
Hopefully in a good way. Oh yeah, it was a good way, but they liked some weird, weird stuff. Hi. <laughs> I do too, so... I'd probably be relishing in it. And then Hurricane Katrina happened. <sighs> and they lost... And... How do you pick it up? It should be a pet. If it's following you, it might be a pet. Or you should be able to walk it right. I don't see it. I do not see the bunny following you there. And a friend of mine just posted an unfinished piece of work. And basically it's like, are you sure this is an alpha and not a beta with this game? Oh, this is an alpha. Uh, the art's kind of in a similar thing. I'm like, that's unfinished. Well, there's the bunny. Bugs. Bugs is the what? Did you uh, name it Bugs? Because it's right here. I see it underneath the underneath the uh, building. I'm gonna post the picture to. Uh... No, bugs is right. I'm seeing bugs right there. You are making this more difficult than it needs to be, Cat. Blackjack. Blackjack, go get some muffins. What you doing? Hmm? Go get some muffins or some turkey. Wait, no, not turkey. You would eat that. Hey, he probably would. Matter of fact, I know he would. <laughs> Was he under the table? God! Yeah, we didn't do that. We didn't actually sit around the table and eat. Oh, just sit up. We just kind of basically went back to our rooms and actually ate. Ah. Uh, but no, while I was actually cooking. Why is my... I have no idea. Why my alarm is set for six, I don't know. And yeah, I, I posted in uh, the general chat for our group that the picture I said was unfinished. Make sure this is the right one. It is. Okay. Pete, I left like my favorite coat on the desk next to me, so Pete's been sitting on that. I guess because it smells like me. Possible. Yeah. I know the cats technically like to plot and plan and cause mayhem, and we, they are sweet. Like if I'm upset, they will pester me and make sure I'm okay. Just give a bunny for the quest. Let's see. They might 
be able to. Comfortable on my coat, Pete. Really? <sighs> and once the holidays are over, prepare for spring. So yeah, I can pick up the rabbit and put it in my inventory and walk it over to Thorn. That's good. Cool so boy. I can do that. Oh. I found another chest. I keep finding chests like all night. Sing. Yeah, they are all over the place. Yeah, usually somebody gets them before me, so me finding them is kind of funny. Hey. I look like a very modern Mary Poppins when I do that. You know, eventually we're going to be able to catch these butterflies, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, probably. And then release them all over the farm and be all pretty. You, you can't take over anything with butterflies. <laughs> if you get one to flap its wings the right way. Yeah. Trying <sighs> on luck to take over the world just seems like a horrible plan to me. I think if I'm able to pick the water lilies, that would be interesting. Boy, that looks all kinds of nifty. The waterfall. The game it looks nice, you know? It's like they took everything like seriously, including aesthetics. And I got us some more geodes. The game has bought me my brown pants. We're not being attacked by anything extremely scary. I'm standing in the top of the waterfall and my and the eyes of the ghost costume are just above water level. So now you look like one of those Japanese monk ghosts that live in the ocean? Possibly, yeah. With a top hat. <laughs> Dapper one. No, I had fun the other day. We were talking about like weird monsters and stuff for like our RP universe, and I mentioned vampire pumpkins. And this is a real thing. Well, real isn't a real legend. Are you familiar with it? Nope. But it sounds like Charlie Brown got dark real quick. 
It's not as bad as you think. That's the sad thing. What it is is that if you leave a pumpkin out in the full moon too long, and apparently this applies to watermelons as well, it'll get a little bit of blood on it and start rolling around growling. And that's pretty much it. That's a thing, all right. <laughs> that, that's that's literally... It's like, there's no teeth. There's no blood sucking. It, it, it's, it's literally... Like, it it rolls around. Hmm. And growls at you. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Attack of the killer tomatoes. The thing is, the killer <laughs> tomatoes seem to. <laughs> Tomatoes seem to have some way of actually hurting you and even got big enough to hurt you. That's all I can think of when you describe it like that, though. The tomatoes were slightly more dangerous. They could jump. <laughs> the pumpkins can't jump. <laughs> it's literally the, like, oh, they can harm you, I guess, by rolling over your foot or something. But they're not dangerous. It's, it's like... This is like from like Romania and places like that, where they get kind of vampire paranoid, and even these don't bother them. They're like, okay, just shove it in holy water, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think that like they had a method of of killing them. Take it but... out of holy water and call me in the morning. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> it's like shove it in a bucket of holy water, and leave it there for a while. It'll, 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 I, it was weird. And I just, like, I first heard about it during a tabletop, like a one shot with funny characters. So it was actually dangerous to us because they could roll over us and squish us. I'm looking at this. Our first joke out of the whole thing was, honey, the pumpkin's growling at the dog. Well, I mean... Like, don't you mean the dog is growling at the pumpkin? No, the pumpkin's rolling around and growling at the dog. <laughs> we were coming up with it because we have like a small little character that has an addiction to pumpkin and anything pumpkin flavored. Okay then. <laughs> we made these creatures that eat vegetables, and one of them got an addiction to pumpkin. So we kind of made a joke, how could we torment this character? Hmm. Pumpkins with the ability to kill you. Barely. No hell. <laughs> They're it's slightly... still, you know, more dangerous than normal vegetables. Yes, yeah, because it can move. Yeah. It literally can do nothing. <laughs> That's how the seaweed got away, by the way. It's a vampire seaweed? Yes. <laughs> but I didn't see a blood trail in the water, because they show, like, a little bit of blood to indicate. Yeah, but it, that's a lot of water, man. Blood just kind of diffused really quickly. True. Burl, 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 burl. Like, that's literally what they said the sound was. It's growling! <laughs> Anyway, I learn I weird stuff. I am going to end the stream here. Yeah, you go get something to eat. Yeah. I'm going to play the song to close us out and save the song Anonymous queued up for tomorrow. He's a good song, but I'm going to play the I'm a Cow song. Oh, God, no, no. I, now I remember that. Now I No, no, <laughs> Still no. Playing it. Still playing it. I'm so, you're mute. The thing is muted, but I do. I remember that animation now. Because <laughs> I used to surf weird sites like that. But anyway, thank you. Thank you both for joining me as we played through here. Tomorrow we'll be back with Graveyard Keeper. And as always, take care, everyone. I will see you all later.
Night, everyone. Uh, the memories have returned. Thank you.